Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 104 of the FIFA 17 My Player Career and we're starting off today's episode with a London derby, travelling to West Ham, so not too far for Arsenal to travel. We are playing in our yellow and blue away kits of course and I've got to be honest guys, we are not really in the best of forms right now. Uh, we're picking up the results to help us get towards the top of the table but the performances for Kai are just not the standard that we expect from him. He's not getting the amount of goals that we really want. You know, he has been out injured for a little bit of time during this season, but we still expect more from him. And not just him, but the team, the teammates are just letting us down. They're not creating enough. They're not even making the space for you know, Kai to even help them out. So it is a bit of a struggle right now at Arsenal, as it is in real life as well. Now we're on to the second half right now, and as you can see, it is still 0-0. Kai there with the header, and that one goes out of play. A good save there from Allison, who got down low. And makes a save for West Ham United. Still chances though for Arsenal. Are we going to take the lead in this second half? Hopefully grab these three points. As I said, we are still in contention of winning the Premier League title this season. And we're in the Champions League and I think the FA Cup as well. So still a couple of um, competitions to win. And here is Kai. He's off in the middle there for Meza Ozil. And his shot just goes wide of the West Ham goal. And I think... What are we on? Fifth, five minutes to play, and I think with this result, if it does end at 0 0, we're going to hand in a transfer request. We've been talking about whether to do that or not at the end of the season, but I think with just a couple of months before the end of the season, I think if we try and get it handed in now, then as soon as the transfer window opens in the summer, we might get an offer or two straight away to stop any messing about and any waiting uh, for the offers to come in at the start of next season. And hopefully it doesn't take too long then for Arsene Wenger to accept our request. And it does look like this one is going to end 0-0. As I said, we are struggling uh, to be creative and finishing, which is a bit of a, a stressful time for Kai. And there is the final whistle then at the London Stadium. It ends West Ham United 0, Arsenal 0. And as you can see, Kai finishes the game with a 7.7 .7 rating. And not the worst result uh, there for Kai, not the result. Uh, sorry, not the worst performance for Kai. And as I said, we are going to hand it in a transfer request. We're valued at £58 million, pounds, so if somebody can't afford him, uh, we will be on the move in the summer. Where do you think we should go, guys? Let me know below. Uh, should we stay in the Premier League? Go back to Spain, maybe? Or even back to Portugal? Um, we'll just have to wait to see. See what offers come in. Um, we could go back to Barcelona. Or Real Madrid, maybe Real Madrid will come in for us. Or maybe, I think PSG have been influ uh, been interested in Kai before. Uh, so maybe they'll come back in with another offer. So we could be heading to France. And maybe even Italy as well. So we'll just have to wait to see, see what offers come in in the summer. As soon as our transfer request is accepted. And once we are on the transfer market. Yeah, but Kai's been rested for this FA Cup tie. And we do actually progress through to the next round. Beating Everton two goals to one. And as I said, Kai's been you know, dropped for that game. I don't know if he got dropped because he handed in the transfer request, but that transfer request was rejected, uh, if you just saw there. So we're going to ask for another transfer, and hopefully Arsene Wenger doesn't take too long to get this accepted. Then we can look forward to finishing off the end of the season. And to do that, we've got to take on Leicester City next up. This is at the Emirates Stadium, and as you can see, a nice sunny day here in London. And let's see if Kai can get on the score sheet today. He finished on a 7.7 .7 rating in the last match. Then he was rested for the FA Cup tie against Everton. So he should be feeling a lot more fresher for this game. So too should some of the teammates. As Kai played it through, tried to play it through there. But uh, Drinkwater was it? Or Denier? I don't even know who it was. And he was there defending well for Leicester City. As we approach the 20 minute mark in today's game. At the Emirates, still 0-0. Arsenal on the attack though with Mesut Ozil. Kai's run into some space. He gets the ball from Coughlin. Shoots. Goalkeeper makes the save. And that's going to be cleared away. Is he going to go out of play for a throw? No, just kept in there. And as far as Ozil, what was that? That was terrible there from the German. His shot was absolutely dreadful. So onwards we go. Just a couple of minutes after this couple of chances for Arsenal. Arsenal on the attack yet again. Here's Ozil. Now Coughlin. Kai trying to twist and turn, trying to get past the defenders. It's not working right now. Back heel from El Nene. Kai shoots. He hits the woodwork. And there is Mustafi. He's there with the rebound. 
And that gives Arsenal a one goal lead. No idea why Mustafi is so far forward there for the Gunners. But there he is, sliding in and giving Arsenal the one goal lead. 26 and a half minutes gone. It's Arsenal 1, Leicester City 0. Good reactions there from Mustafi, the centre back. I have no idea if he's scored any more goals this season. I can't remember him scoring. Yeah, but it's highly likely that he did, especially from the corners. And onwards we go then into the second half here at the Emirates. It's still Arsenal who have that narrow 1-0 lead. Cross comes in there from Rafa Kai with the volley. And that was a poor shot there in the end. High and wide of the Leicester City goal. And the score remains 1-0 to Arsenal. Francis Cochrane, he's just been replaced. Alexis Sanchez has come on in his place. And will Alexis have any say in this game as Leicester power forward here. And the shot's going to come in. No, it isn't. He pulls it back. He's still got possession, shot just coming in, it hits the woodwork and oh my god, get the ball in, under control there. That is Arsenal defending right there. And, but thankfully the goalkeeper manages to hold on to it and Arsenal on the attack here. On that far side gets the ball back there from Callum Chambers. Now Kai plays it through to Ozil, Ozil's shot, not really much on that one. And the goalkeeper gets the ball clear after a simple save. So we're still leading by one goal to nil. Looking for a second. Are we going to find this second and get these three points wrapped up? We have second win in a row. If, it, if we do, Kai plays it through. And another goal. There we go. Great finish this time from... Is that Ozil? It is. It's Meza Ozil. Took a second for me to realise who it was. But it's Meza Ozil. He had a poor shot in the first half. There's nowhere on target. With that one down low. Enough power in it to get past the keeper. And it's now Arsenal 2. Leicester City 0. Nice finish, goalkeeper didn't stand a chance there and Mesut Ozil scores for Arsenal and that's only his third Premier League goal of the season so far as Leicester City looking to get themselves a goal, are they going to get it? No, it's cleared away here from Arsenal Back in though, Leicester City still not done still trying to get themselves back into the game with only a minute to play challenge comes in there as a good challenge gone out of play for all Leicester corner the goalkeepers push forward now for the Foxes is it going to be a late goal? I think that was Semedo or Renato Sanchez, in fact, getting the ball clear. And now Kai, no, oh, he didn't have enough time there to get the shot off as it was an empty goal. But there is the final with then Kai finishing the game with a 7.8 final match rating. Didn't get a goal, didn't get an assist, but still we got the three points in the end. And that is the most important thing. And as you can see, more emails and more transfer requests being rejected so you know what we're going to have to do we're going to have to get that requested again and hopefully it doesn't take them too long to get that damn thing accepted and then we can be on the transfer market but before that let's play this game this is actually the second leg of the champions league tie against paris saint germain we did win the first game one goal to nil so fingers crossed the ai can do us the job and get us into the next round because Kai's obviously been rested or even dropped for this game. But as you can see, Shakiri giving PSG the one goal lead after 28 minutes. Mandy's gone off um, injured. And there is a yellow card as well for an Arsenal defender. Still 1 0 here. 1 1 so far on aggregate. Going into the final six minutes. And PSG have scored again. And Shakiri gets his second goal of the game. Meaning Arsenal go out in the round of 16. Huge disappointment there for Arsenal. Uh, but it is Paris who progressed through.